You're welcome to solve for the value of x given this nice exponential equation, which is x squared over 25. This is equal to 25 over x squared. The first thing here, that is the solution here, we cross multiply here so that we'll have x to power 2 times x to power 2. This is equal to 25 times 25. Now, from here, we can express 25 as 5 to power 2. So, this is the same thing as x to power 2 times x to power 2. This is equal to 5 to power 2 times 5 to power 2. Now, x to power 2 times x to power 2 and 5 to power 2 times 5, this is actually in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which you can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x raised to power 2 plus 2. This is equal to 5 raised to power 2 plus 2. So this is the same thing as x to power 4. This is equal to 5 to power 4. So let's take 5 to power 4 on the left hand side. So that here this is x to power 4. Subtract 5 to power 4. This is equal to 0. So in this case, we can express x to power 4 as x to power 2 raised to power 2. Subtract 5 to power 4, which you can express as 5 to power 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. From this equation, a is equal to x squared, and b is equal to 5 squared. Now, this implies that a plus b, this is the same thing as x squared plus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a minus b, this is the same thing as x squared minus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1. We can call this one case 1. So in case 1, we have x squared plus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. x squared plus 5 squared equal to 0. This is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi and a minus bi. Now, x squared plus 5 squared, this you can express as x plus 5i. Then here we have x minus 5i. So here we'll have two parts. We have two parts here. The first part is x plus 5i. This is equal to 0. The second part here is x minus 5i, which is equal to 0. So this implies that x1 is equal to minus 5i. And here we have that x2 is equal to 5i. So we have the first value of x1 and x2. Let's proceed to case 2. Case 2 now, we have x squared subtract 5 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. Now, applying this property, then we have x plus 5 and x minus 5. This is equal to 0. Now, here we have two parts. The first part is x plus 5. This is equal to 0. The second part is x minus 5 equal to 0. So this implies that x3 is equal to minus 5. And x4 is equal to 5. 
So here we have four solutions. This implies we have four solutions. <coughs> that is x1 equal to minus 5i. x2 is equal to 5i. And then we have x3 equal to minus 5 and x4 equal to 5. So let's verify these four solutions actually satisfies the equation. Let's verify here. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we entered x to power 2 divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over x to power 2. Let's start with x1, which is equal to minus 5i. Substituting x1 here, we have minus 5i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by negative 5i squared. So negative 5 squared, this is 25 times i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by negative 5 squared, this is 25, times i squared. i squared in this case is minus 1. So let's substitute this. We have 25 times minus 1 divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 25 times minus 1. So let's simplify here by 25. And 25 simplifies, so we have minus 1. This is equal to 25 and 25 simplifies, so it's 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that proves that x1 satisfies the equation. Let's proceed to x2. x2 is equal to 5i. Let's check this. So here we have... That is 5i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 5i squared. So in this case, here we will have 5i squared. This is 5i squared, which is 5i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over... 5i squared. So 5 squared, this is 25 times i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 5 squared, which is 25 times i squared. i squared is minus 1, so this is 25 times minus 1 divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 25 times minus 1. So let's simplify here by 25 1 by 25 1. So this is minus 1 which is equal to minus 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. We have x3 equal to minus 5. So let's verify this. Now we have x to power 2 divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over x squared. Substituting x3, this is the same thing as minus 5 squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over, this is minus 5 squared. So minus 5 squared, this is 25 over 25. This is equal to 25 over negative 5 squared, which is equal to 25. So let's simplify here by 25 1 by 25 1. So we have 1 is equal to 1. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x3 satisfies the equation. Let's check x4. x4 is equal to 5. 
x4 is equal to 5. Now, we have that 5 to the power 2 over 25. This is equal to 25 over 5 to the power 2. So here we have 5 to the power 2. This is 25 over 25. This is equal to 25 over 5 to the power 2, which is 25. So here we simplify. And this is 1. And this is also 1. So 1 is equal to 1. So the left add side is equal to right add side. And this implies that the four solutions actually satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe.